STS-2, we had all the tile to replace that we had not hardened in the beginning. So our time in the orbiter processing facility was very long days. At that time, I was on night shift, so very long nights doing all of the tile work. When we had the vehicle almost ready, we actually damaged the Elevon by uh, moving it into part of the structure. So we had a lot of tile work to do on the Elevon as well. We actually finished installing the last of the tile on the Elevon on seven layers of scaffolding out at the launch pad. And then we had an oxidizer spill on the forward reactionary control system, that's the front thruster section of the orbiter, it spilled down the side. It reacted with the paint that the tiles were glued onto on the aluminum skin and it pretty much turned the paint to a liquid so all the tile were potentially falling off the orbiter. The oxidizer is not quite as hazardous as the fuel, but you can't breathe it, can't get it on you. Very few people that had the certifications that were authorized to actually touch the tile had the special breathing apparatus certification so that they could go in there to, to, to where the oxidizer had spilled. So myself and two technicians climbed up on temporary scaffolding 200 feet up at the launch pad and proceeded to hold the tiles on the skin of the ship while we started taking them off one at a time and putting them in special bags to go get them decontaminated and that. But we wound up removing 386 tiles off of the vehicle. The tile is designed to take the heat so you can get the oxidizer or any contamination out of the tile when you bake it. Well, Kennedy Space Center had very limited ovens, so we sent them down. Patrick Air Force Base had some very large ovens, and we sent them down there. But I understand by the time they got through heat cleaning the tiles that we needed cleaned, uh, we basically ruined their ovens. We had to remove all the way back to good area that was not exposed to oxidizer. Then we had to sand all the paint, either chemically remove or sand it all the way down to bare metal, prep the metal again. Then we used our corrosion control shop to come in and repaint that area of the orbiter. It took us about three weeks to get the work done. They estimated it would take us several months. This is Terry White telling you one of my untold stories from the Rocket Ranch.